How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and we're back with a favorite of this channel actually would make the channel kind of picked up on YouTube was when I was talking about displacement. They took that from us when Unreal Engine 5 came in and now they are giving it back because it's an amazing feature and you're going to see that not only can you do nanite with displacement inside a material in Unreal Engine 5.3, but you can also blend. So as you can see, I have two different materials that I have blended here. And if I go into landscape, you're gonna see that I can paint my material and it comes with tessellation already. Now I know a lot of people are dying to see how this works, so let's get started. So for this to work, you will have to enable something in the config files. I don't know why this isn't on right of the bat because it's a feature, but whatever, let's do it. So you're going to go here into default engine. This is an INI file that you'll be able to edit with any text editor, which should load by default. So you don't have to do anything extra. So just double click on it. This will pop up and I already have what you need, but what you need is these two things. These two things, they need to be here in the rendering section. All right. So make sure you're in the renderer settings. Uh, you'll be able to identify this section by the everything starts with an R and just put those at the end. I'm going to leave them in the description down below for you to just copy and paste. Now, once you have them here, uh, just click on file and save it. And then open your project, by the way, don't do this with your project open uh, before you load up your project. You can do that and then you load your project. So once you're done with that, then we're here. I actually created a new level. We're going to go into landscape mode and uh, some parts I'm going to be going a little bit faster. Otherwise, this video is going to be extremely long. So what I'll do is I'll leave a playlist for you guys to watch if you are new to Unreal Engine and have not used uh, landscape before. So I have to do is go here to landscape. Let me it's already to 50 percent. I'm just going to click create. I didn't do any sculpting because again, all we are doing here is testing the tessellation. All right. And this always shows up. This is not going to this message over here. It's not going to interfere for what we're going to do. All right. I selected my materials. We're going to do this cliff and these rocks. You're going to see they're uh, they're very contrasty. So you can tell the difference. And they are this cliff is a little bit exaggerated. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these three maps in here. We have albedo, normal maps, and we have a pack map and we haven't used a pack map in a while. So just so you know, this uh, that says ORD, that means occlusion, roughness and displacement. It all comes into one single map. So you don't need a displacement map over here. Don't look for it. It's in this little uh, map right here. That's a packed map and you can see it says ORD right there. Now let's go to the other one here, select them all. We're going to throw them in here. And same thing, we have the three maps. Let's try to keep them uh, somewhat organized. Now, the node that we need, and you just right click here to get a node, we're going to look for landscape layer blend. And this node, what it needs, is it needs the information for how many materials you're going to have. In this case, we have two materials, but you can do as many materials as you want. So there may be a limit performance wise, so don't go crazy, but you can do more than two. So we're just going to do two arrays because we have two materials. I'm going to call the first one cliff. And I'm going to call the second one rocks. All right. Now for this, we need four. And the reason we need four is because we need one for each map. Now, I know there are only three maps here, but the reason why we need four is because we're going to be extracting the roughness and the displacement at the same time from this. I highly recommend that you use the roughness that comes with mega scans. If you're using the mega scans, if not, just plug something in here into roughness, just plug in a numerical value so it doesn't look super shiny. So we're going to do control C, control V, one, two, three. And we got four nodes, so we're going to do this for the color, then plug it in. All 
and for the ORD, we're going to get the green one, green channel, which is the roughness. Whoops. I'm going to plug it into the roughness. And now we're going to plug in the displacement, which is this one right here is the blue channel. And we plug it into displacement. All right. If you did everything correctly, you should see that displacement node. Now, all you have to do is go here. And it's probably like this. So underneath Nanite, you're going to see displacement and you're going to have these two values. I already have my value at 0 0.05, which is a value that I think um, it gives me decent results without going super exaggerated. And we're almost done. All we have to do is add a node that will allow us to tell these maps how many times to tile. And again, if you want to know about tiling, just go to that playlist where I go a little bit more in depth. All right, we got our map. I'm actually going to set map scale to two. Save that. And this is going to be our new map. Make sure you select your landscape. We're going to throw the map in here. And you're going to see that everything is white and it looks like an amazing map. That is because we don't have layer information. So we need to go into landscape. We need to go into paint. And you're going to see that your materials pop in here. This is a good sign that you made everything correctly. And you're just going to click click on this plus button to create the layer information. So select weight blender layer. And just save it wherever you want. I'm just going to save it as two because I already have one like that in there. And once you do that, white will go away and we'll just give you your base material, which usually the base color is the first material that you added. So make sure that the first one is the one that you want as a base. All right. Now we get close to it and you can see that there is zero tessellation right now. I'm sorry, zero displacement because it's just a flat plane. What you're seeing it makes it kind of look 3D is the map, the normal map. But we can just start painting if we want to. So let me paint a little bit here. Shaders just compiled. And you can see that there is a little bit of a blend between these two. So that's nice. That's another good thing about doing this to the landscape is that you get some sort of a uh, little bit of a blend between the two. Now, in order for this to be um, displaced, we need to go into the Nanite portion. You click on Enable Nanite and you need to build data. So we're going to click Build Data. It's going to take a second. It's going to look a little bit ugly. Just wait for it to compile shaders. Don't pay attention to these. And it's compiling shaders. And everything is displaced now. So if I get closer, you're going to see that we have displacement here. We have displacement here. And we have displacement everywhere. Now we can create our landscape with displacement. And by all means, you can just do it with one material or you can do it with more than one. And you can sculpt it as well. Once your terrain is sculpted and you just add your material, it's going to look awesome. However, if you want to paint a little bit more once you have nanite this, you actually can. If we go back to painting, let's paint a little bit more around here. And we get close to it, it's tessellated. So we're now painting on a nanite landscape with displacement. This is very surprising, and I think it's awesome implementation. Things like this are going to look amazing with nanite and with other meshes in there. Now I'm going to keep experimenting with this material, see how much I can push this, see if I can add it in other ways to other meshes. So please stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel when you do that. And if you can, there's a patron. If you can donate, patrons, all my patrons are right here on screen. My level two patrons get this video early. Remember to also follow me on Twitter. I'm going to start posting short content format on Twitter. And there's a Discord if you have uh, any other questions or if you want to just leave the questions here in the comment box below. That's fine as well. It really helps the channel uh, once you comment too. Good for the algorithm. And um, I'll see you in the next one.